Alright, so before we get into the video, we're going to be talking about the Lee McGregor versus Vincent Legrand post-fight review. So Lee McGregor knocks out Vincent Legrand in the fourth round. My thoughts on it, it was a, this was a very good fight, to be honest, uh, while it lasted. You know, um, uh, Vincent Legrand dropped uh, uh, Lee McGregor, I believe in the uh, second round. But in my opinion, I thought it was a push. I thought that you know when he was, when he punched him, uh, it looked like a push to me. Uh, you know I might I need to like rewatch it, but uh, I thought that was a push, so I didn't count that knockdown. I'm not biased. I'm just saying you know, um, you know it just it didn't really look like a knockdown to me. Um, so I gave that round to Lee McGregor. So overall I had it uh, three rounds to one for Lee McGregor. Uh, but, you know, Vincent Legrand did, uh, you know, show some heart. You know, he did show that, you know, he doesn't necessarily suck. He actually is a pretty decent boxer. I'm a, like, he did surprise me. Even though I picked uh, Lee McGregor to knock him out, uh, like, Vincent Legrand did, like, he like he did show that, you know, like, that, you know, he can box, you know. He's definitely a very decent boxer. I'm not saying he'll beat any of the top fighters. Like I don't think he I don't think he stands a chance against any of the top fighters. Uh, any of the top fighters, but uh you know, he still uh put up a good fight against Lee McGregor. You know, uh Lee McGregor did show some uh questions. So he did show some uh holes in his game and he did uh you know ha has and he does, you know, have some questions to prove. Because Lee McGregor doesn't necessarily... I mean, he has head movement. But whenever he's trying, whenever he walks forward, he does like to take punishment when he walks forward. And that's what happened in this fight. Is that when it, when Lee McGregor was walking forward, you know, uh, Vincent Legrand was making him pay, you know, and throwing, you know, combos and stuff like that. Whenever he's coming forward, you know. And I'm not going to lie. Vincent Legrand is very fast with his punches, to be honest, you know. That could probably be the reason why, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, he was still taking a lot of shots in the in the fight, you know. He did show some holes, you know, because if he was getting caught by somebody like Michael Desmarinas, I'm like if he get if he got caught by somebody who has power like Michael Desmarinas or Noya Inoue or anybody like that, he would get put to sleep because he was getting caught by uh. By um by Vincent Legrand pretty like he was getting caught by him pretty often. Even though I had uh, Lee McGregor winning the fight, uh, Vincent Legrand was you know hitting him quite a lot. You know so Lee McGregor definitely needs to answer those questions. I'm still a big fan of Lee McGregor. You know I still think like you know he's still young. You know he's still he like he you know he's still young and he's still improving. But he definitely needs to fix those kind of uh holes in his in his game, you know, work on his head movement when he's walking forward, you know, kind of like what Gervonta Davis does, is when he walks forward, he uses his head movement, like, whenever, like, someone tries to hit him, he uses his head movement whenever he walks forward, and then counters, you know, and, and kind of like what, and that's what kind of like what Lomachenko does too, and like Manny Pacquiao, he definitely needs to, like, learn how to do that, you know, like whenever he like he walk whenever he walks forward, he definitely needs to work on his head movement. You know he does have he does have good head movement, but when he whenever he walks forward, his he doesn't have the you know he doesn't like to use his head movement and he likes to kind of use his head, you know as kind of like a punching bag whenever he's coming forward. But like like if and or but I like it like. Like it doesn't really matter, you know. Like Lee McGregor, you know, he still got the job done. He still got the KO. Like, pretty sure it what everybody expected. Yeah. But anyways, on to the video. Hey, what's up, y'all? Press it for Fight Media 360 here. So this is a quick preview and prediction. For Kid Galahad versus Jezza Dickens 2. So before uh, we get get into all this, uh, I just want to say this fight takes place on Saturday. So tomorrow on The Zone, promoted by Eddie Hearn. It will, you know, be promoted, you know, by Matcher Boxing. 
Um, so this is obviously, you know, the rematch. Um, um, they had a, their first fight took place, I believe, in 2013 or something like that. Um, Kick Alahad won by a corner stoppage uh, due to uh, Jazza Dickens uh, having, you know, a bad cut on his eye. But overall, it was a very, very good fight, obviously. You know, Kick Alahad was, was, you know, he was uh, controlling the fight. Um, but then, you know, the cut happened, you know, and yeah. So now we got that out the way, so now let's talk, let's talk about the odds, and then what they need to do to win, and then my final prediction. So, uh, Kate Galhad is listed as a favorite, again, I don't know what the numbers are, um, but I, all I know is that he's definitely listed as the favorite. I did look, but I forgot what the numbers were. So now we got that out the way, so now let's talk about what they need to do to win, and then my final prediction. So let's start off with the slight favorite, or just the favorite, Kid Galahad. So obviously, you know, Kid Galahad's only loss came to a very close fight against uh, Josh Warrington, who is actually going to be fighting uh, uh, fighting September the 4th, September the 4th, um, against uh, Mauricio Lara. He's going to be having a rematch against him. Um, but what I would like, to, but the thing is with Kid Galahad, he really reminds me of like a, of like a, um, Prince Nassim. Like, that's what he kind of reminds me of, is a Prince Nassim Hamid. Like, he, like, he, like, the style of him, you know, he kind of looks like, uh, um, 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 what's his name, Prince Nassim also. You know, just a fighting style, you know. But what I would like to see from Kid Galahad is do what you sim like similarly like, uh, do what you did again uh, like in the uh in like you know the first fight you know kind of just try to outbox Dickens you know land your shots and pretty much just move around you know and whenever Dickens trying to come in the uh, inside try to pop him with uppercuts you know and kind of fight with them in the inside once if Dickens comes in the inside. Because Dickens is a uh, pressure fighter, and he and he is a and he does like to hit the body quite a lot. So he definitely whenever like and plus Dickens likes to keep his head kind of low. So whenever Dickens is leaving his head low, like kind of like pop him again with an uppercut and then land your like shots and combos and all that, you know. But he really needs to just try to outbox Dickens and use your size advantage and you know kind of like use your height advantage over Dickens because Galahad is the uh because Galahad is the uh bigger and but I believe he's the taller fighter and then Dickens so he definitely needs to use that and he definitely needs to use his strength advantage over uh Dickens because you know Kid Galahad he is pretty strong he does hit hard so he definitely needs to use that in this fight against Dickens you know you know use your jab pretty much to try to so he just kind of like outbox uh, Dickens and and really just shove that jab into his face, you know. Try to like irritate Dickens, you know. And like make it hard for Dickens to come in the inside. And whenever Dickens ch uh, comes in the inside, again, like either brawl with them or just move around, you know. And if Dickens tries to chase you around, just keep popping up with hard shots. And I, and I think the best shot that you should do it with is uh an uppercut because I, like I know I said it a lot but the reason why is because again Dickens whenever he even comes forward Dickens does like leave his head like low to the ground or what he what you can do is when he does that kind of hit him kind of like hit him in the temple because like that's what you should do whenever like you know that's what you should do whenever uh like somebody's like duck whenever somebody ducks low is that you should hit him to the temple or an uppercut. Those are the best punches. So he definitely needs to do that if, uh, if you know, if, if there's a case and scenario where, you know, Dickens, like, just chasing chasing him down, you know, just walking him down, you know, and just trying to, like, get in the inside and try to pressure fight him. And so that's what you need to do also. So that's what Kit Galahad needs to do to win. So, yeah. So now for Jazza Dickens. So what I would like to see from Dickens is... Kind of like, like, do what you do is kind of like be a pressure fighter. But also, you need to not, like, leave, like, kind of like, like, leave your head low. 
I'm not saying that he, that he, you know, because he does have good defense, you can say. But, um, he can't just always sometimes leave his head so exposed. Because whenever he kind of throws the combos, he leaves his head open, you know. And a little too long, he, like, does that. So he definitely needs to, like, you know, kind of, like, do what, uh, Brian Castaño did. Kind of, like, when he fought Charlo is when, uh, is when, um, is to, like, pretty much, uh, bring Galahad to the ropes and pretty much try to land your shots. You could be a pressure fighter, but land your shots and try to kind of, like, you kind of, like, use your boxing skills and try to, like, land the shots on, uh, Galahad and also, like, Really have your guard up high, you know, uh, like kind of, but like you know, kind of like leave it high, you know, um, but make sure you don't leave your body too exposed. So you need to kind of like, you like, like have your hands up to your face, kind of like you do, but also kind of like, again, not leave your uh body so exposed. So you that so that's what he needs to do also because like. Like, again, like, he needs to fight like Brian Castaño because Brian Castaño is a very good definition of a very good pressure fighter because people just expect to the one you're just a pressure fighter just don't gazillion punches. No, you need to be smart about it because you can't, because if you're just going to get throw a gazillion punches, you know, you know, just go to the body, just, ah, 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 you know, just throw those kind of combos, you're going like, to leave your body and your head exposed. So you need to like not leave your head so exposed when you're uh fighting Galahad because uh Galahad again is a very good boxer and he and he um is and he's a very hard puncher. So he definitely needs to be careful of, you know, of that. Because like Dickens does have a very good chance of winning. They both have very good chance of of winning, you know, because I see Dickens like, you know, Coming victorious, you know, by like a split decision, you know, a very, very close split decision, like a, like a biased split decision, you know, if it was like pretty much a, kind of like a clear robbery, but he won by a split decision, kind of like, you know, if he clearly won by like a unanimous decision, but then they just said a split decision. And then I see Galahad, you know, probably like, you know, winning by a knockout, you know, because, um, yeah, because, uh, he did it before, and also because uh, Dickens likes to, like, you know, be exposed. Because I did say, you know, he has good def defense. He does when he isn't punching. When he's punching, he likes to leave his head, uh, like, exposed, like, exposed, exposed. You know, of course, you're going to leave your your head exposed, so, like, sometimes when you punch. But, you like, you, like, kind of, like, throw too many punches and leave your face, like, wide open for too long. You know, you're going to either get dropped by Galahad or get knocked out by Gal by Galahad. If you're just going to leave your chin, like, wide open or just leave your head just wide open or your body wide open, there is a high chance of you getting hurt badly by a body shot or just getting hurt badly by anything or getting knocked the hell out or, ju or just getting dropped. But So you don't want to risk doing that because if you get dropped by Galahad in this fight, you're going to lose the fight because you're not, I, I don't see him, like, you know, making, like, shutting out Galahad in this fight. So, if you get dropped in this fight, you have to stop Galahad. And I just don't think Dickens has the power to knock out Galahad, you know, or, you know, because he's also a lot smaller than Galahad. So, that's what uh, Jazz and Dickens needs to do to win this fight. So, yeah. So, my final prediction for this fight... I'm not going to lie, this is going to be a good fight, you know. Both these guys, you know, are improving a lot ever since they first fought, you know, having a winning streak, you know. Um, you know, Galahad was, was, you know, undefeated at the time, but he's not anymore, but he's still improving, improving a lot. And same for Dickens. But if I would have to pick one to win this fight, I'm probably going to go with Kid Galahad by a stoppage in the mid-rounds. More because, again, uh, Dickens, he's a good fighter, but he likes to leave his head wide open. You know, I did, again, I did say he has good defense, but that's what he's not punching. But he likes to, like, leave his head, like, kind of, like, low to the ground. Kind of, like, not low to the ground, but he kind of, 
likes to kind of leave his head low. And he also, whenever he's throwing punches, he like kind of like leaves his face way too exposed for too long. And I just think it would be really easy for Galahad to just to counter him and just sit him and you you know just sit him on his butt, you know. But um, that's why I picked Kid Galahad to win this fight by a stoppage. So yeah, so that's my final prediction. I got Kid Galahad. By a stoppage in the mid rounds. Make sure you make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'm Preston from Fight Media 360, and thank y'all for watching this video.